the angle between the lines represented by equations 2y minus root 12 x minus 9 is equal to 0 and root 3 y minus x plus 7 is equal to 0 is dash. So, what is the formula to find the angle between two lines? The angle that is formed between two lines, right, is theta. If that is theta, then we can say tan theta that is equal to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 where m1 and m2 represents the slope of both the lines respectively. So, in this case what are the two lines that we have? We have 2y minus root 12 x minus 9 is equal to 0 or you can say y is equal to root 12 x plus 9 divided by 2 or what is the slope of this line? Slope of this line or m1 is equal to root of 12 by 2 which is nothing but root of 4 into 3 by 2 which is equal to root 3, correct? This uh, root, uh, this 2 and when this 4 comes out of the root it will become 2, both that will get cancelled and so you will have root 3 as the slope of the first line. What is the equation of the second line that you have? Root 3 y minus x plus 7 is equal to 0 or you can say y is equal to x minus 7 by root 3. What is the slope of the second line? The slope of the second line is nothing but 1 by root 3. So, now what is the angle that is formed between the two lines? It is nothing but tan theta. That is if theta is the angle that is formed between the two lines, I can say tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 that is root 3 minus 1 by root 3 divided by 1 plus root 3 into 1 by root 3 or this is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2 by 2 root 3 which is equal to 1 by root 3. So, if tan theta is 1 by root 3, what is the value of theta? Theta is equal to 30 degrees. So, the angle between the lines is nothing but 30 degrees that is option 1. So, you are given a triangle PQR and what are the vertices of this triangle PQR? So, P is 2, 3, Q is minus 3, 7 and R is equal to minus 1 minus 3. Correct? Now, uh, what are you supposed to find out? You are supposed to find out the equation of the median PM. So, this is the median PM. So, what does this median PM do? This will divide this line QR into two equal halves or what is the coordinates of this point M? That is nothing but the midpoint of the line QR. So, what is M? Coordinates of M is nothing but minus 3 minus 1 by 2 and 7 minus 3 by 2 or coordinates of this point m is nothing but minus 2 and 2. So, this is minus 2, 2. So, now you know the coordinates of m as minus 2 and 2 and you know point p is 2 comma 3. Now, uh, how would you find out the equation of this line p m? See, for this first you have to find out the slope of this line, right? What is the slope of the line? Slope of the line is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So, once you find the slope of the line PM using this formula, you can write the equation of the line using this formula, right? y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Using this, you can write the equation of the line. This would be the actual way in which you would do it, but when it comes to the exam, this is little more time consuming, right? So, what you can do is at this point, right, when you have found out the value of P and M, just check with the equations that is given to you. This 2, 3 and minus 2, 2 should satisfy the equation of the line. So, if I put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, no, this option is not getting satisfied correctly. So, this is not your right option. Similarly, this option will also not get satisfied. If I put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3, this is also not satisfying. Look at this option, x minus 4y plus 10 is equal to 0. So, I have 2 minus 12 plus 10 is equal to 0. Yes, it is satisfying. Similarly, check for point m. Even if you put the value of point m here, you will have, when you put the value of minus 2 and 2 here, you will get minus 2 minus 8 plus 10. That is again equal to 0. So, both this point p and m, right, when you substitute their coordinates in the third equation, you get the answer as 0. So, obviously, you can take that as your answer and move on with the next question. But this is the, the actual way in which you would solve it, but in exam, since this is time consuming, you can check with the options at this point and mark your answer.
See, even if you check with point P itself, you can eliminate these two options. So you are left only with the third option, but we also have a none of these options here. So just to be sure that this is our correct answer, we also find out what is the value of point M and then check with that also. Double check it and then mark that as your answer. If this option, none of these itself was not there, directly you can go away with three as your answer. An equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, where a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 represents a straight line which passes through dash. So here again, it's better to check with the options. So see, I know c is equal to 0. So I have ax plus by that is equal to 0. So which of these options when I put for the value of x and y, do I get the answer as 0? For sure, if I put option 2. Right? I, what will I get if I put a, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, what will I get? I will get a into 0 plus b into 0 which is equal to 0. So definitely this line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 will pass through the point 0, 0. So your correct answer is option 2.